Some of you may remember back in the day when blank CDRs were in their heyday, uh, there were basically some CDRs that had the label for consumer on them. And some of you may be wondering, what did that mean? Why did these CDs have the label for consumer on them? And I'm going to talk about that in this video. Basically, back at the time when CDRs were very popular, there were basically two types of blank CDRs. There was the regular standard issue CDR that was intended to be used in, your, in the CD burner of your personal computer. But there were also these other CDRs that were often called music only or audio only CDRs. And these same CDRs often had the for consumer label on them. Well, I'm going to get into more detail about the for consumer name later in the video. But basically, I'm just going to talk now about why were these some of these CDRs labeled music only or audio only. Those particular CDRs that were labeled audio only or music only were intended to be used in standalone CD recorders. And I owned one of these machines. Basically, it looked just like a regular stereo component CD player, but it also recorded. Uh, you could input sound from another device, whether it be a cassette deck or a, a turntable, and you could digitize that directly to CD. And I bought a Philips CDR 770 standalone CD recorder. I purchased this in the year 2000, and I got many, many years of use out of it. It was a very good, reliable machine. Uh, in fact, I used it up until just a couple of years ago, uh, and at that point it was basically starting to mm, break down on me. It wasn't working all that well anymore. But I do plan to do a review of this machine uh, sometime in the near future. At that time, these music-only or audio-only CDRs were fairly easy to find. And I've had many people ask me, uh, can you still find these blank music-only CDRs? Yes, they're not as common as they used to be, but I do still see them for sale on various websites like Amazon or eBay. Uh, for some interesting reason, they do seem to be still quite popular in the United Kingdom, which I don't fully understand, but I have noticed that over time. Basically, all the major uh, organizations, all the major audio organizations sold their own brand of these music-only CDRs. Uh, I'm referring to companies like Memorex, Maxell, Sony, TDK. They all sold their own brand of music-only CDRs. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say they had the best luck with Sony uh, CDRs. I don't think I ever used the Sony audio-only CDRs. Uh, I seem to have the best luck with uh, Maxell. I, I found that the Maxell brand always seemed to work best in my Philips CDR 770. There were also blank CDRWs, audio only CDRWs, and I had a number of these and I used them over and over many times. They were very useful and very efficient and uh, I still have a few that I still use from time to time. Something else that is very important that I will mention one thing that many people found frustrating about these standalone CD recorders was that they would only accept blank CDs that had the for consumer label. If you tried to use a standard issue regular uh, blank CD in one of these standalone CD recorders, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't accept them. And there would often be an error message that would pop up on the display of the CD recorder. So that was one thing that I certainly used to find frustrating, that you had to use these specific blank CDs that had the label for consumer on them in these standalone CD recorders. And I guess this is uh, the reason for this is because for consumer blank CDs had a special code in them. And when you put the blank CD into the CD recorder, it would look for that code. And if it saw the code, if it recognized that you were using a for consumer blank CD, it would accept it. If you tried to use a regular CD that didn't have the code, it wouldn't accept it and it wouldn't work. So this was definitely something that a lot of people found frustrating about trying to use 
standalone CD recorders. So why were these four consumer CDRs a bit more expensive than regular CDRs? Well, a part of that was because some of the profit of these CDRs went to the RIAA, who are the Recording Industry Association of America. I think basically the premise behind it was that there was a fear amongst record companies that because people were copying albums at home, they wouldn't be going to the local record store to buy them. Remember, this was again in the late 90s, early 2000s, quite a long time before streaming came along and it was still the era where people were actually going to a store and buying CDs. So the companies were a bit uh, scared about this. So as a way of recuperating some of that money that they figured they were losing with people copying albums at home on blank CDs, they came up with this for consumer tag, which involved a levy. It was also to comply with international copyright agreements. Uh, various countries would apply copyright levies to the cost of these blank discs intended for music. Now again, it's kind of funny to consider this in 2021 because again, everything nowadays is streaming. The sales of CDs have gone way down. I sometimes feel like I'm maybe one of the few people left in the world who still prefers to buy CDs. However, I am certainly the exception to the rule. Uh, again, this for consumer label, I think was a desperate attempt to sort of recoup uh, some of the money they were losing. And again, it does seem to me that CDs are much more difficult to find nowadays on the market. Uh, I remember back again in the late 90s, early 2000s, they were everywhere. You could find them everywhere. Even the four consumer ones, uh, there were always at least a few stores in your town who would have these. And uh, they, were, they were quite ubiquitous and quite easy to find. But now it seems that they are less and less common um, and it's no secret that if you look at various laptops that are available on the market today, most of them don't even have a CD burner. So it's definitely something that has fallen to the wayside and kind of gone the way of the dinosaur. Are CDs completely dead? I would argue no. No format is ever completely dead in my opinion. Back in the 90s people were declaring that vinyl was dead. People very quickly nailed the last nail in the coffin of vinyl and they said that vinyl was no more. Well, as you can see, vinyl is stronger than ever and sales are through the roof and so that was very, very incorrect. People back in the day said that cassettes were dead. Cassettes are not dead, they're still around. There's still a lot of indie labels releasing albums on cassette. So in terms of CDs being dead, no, not entirely. I think they'll be here for a while. And I still think there's people like me, various enthusiasts around the world who still enjoy buying and using blank CDRs.